How to connect Notion to Google Sheets? Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect Notion to Google Sheets. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So basically, we're going to use three tools today in order to make this tutorial. Obviously, Notion. The second is Google Sheets and the third one is going to be Zapier. This is a cool tool that is going to allow us to transfer all the data that we have into our Notion to Google Sheets. So by now, if you don't know yet, Notion is a single space where you can think, write and plan, capture thoughts, manage projects or even run an entire company. So you can do exactly the way you want. Okay, that's Notion for by now. I just have here in general, it is important that it is this is not going to be in private, this is going to be in general. By now, here in Docs, I just have a Sipa's birthday, so I've created an event. This is in progress today, is May 29, but the date is on June 14, and I have created an email, a second status, and you can add another property if you want, so perhaps. I don't know a URL or phone. I'm going to create a phone. So there I'm going to write some numbers and that's it. That's what we need by now. And here in Google Sheet, I guess you already know it. This is like Microsoft Excel, but from Google, I need almost, it has like the same features and it's online and you can share it with some other people if you want. And the third tool is Zapier. So Zapier is a no-code automation tool that lets you connect your apps into automated workflows so that every person in every business can move forward at growth speed. So obviously this is going to allow us to connect a lot, a lot. Let me say you like more than 5,700 apps and transfer the data to another apps. So here in Zapier, what we're gonna do is create a Zap. That's the name in the orange button. So here there are two steps, a trigger and an action. So the trigger is that if I change like some info here into my Notion, this is gonna be the trigger to be transferred here into my Google Chat. So if you don't find your Notion here, remember there are more than 5,700 apps, so you can go to your bar and type Notion. So you must select an event, by now new data by database item, sorry, and to continue. Here you must to choose an account from Notion and to link it to your Zapier. So I'm going to go there I've already like connected my account, so I'm going to select this one. But in case you don't have done that yet, I'm going to show the show you the process, like from zero. So this is gonna appear. So I'm going to select the pages, and here you can select general and private, okay, and allow access. And that's it. Remember, perhaps you could have some problems, so you must go to your padlock here, go to site settings and allow pop-ups and redirects in case you have that problem. So I'm going to click on continue. The trigger, I'm going to show the value. So this is in Docs, as I already showed you here in my Notion. Sebo's birthday is in Docs. And continue. And this is going to begin to test. This is going to begin testing, testing. And this is the data that Zapier has found. Okay, I'm going to continue. And now the second step is the action. So this is going to be transferred to our Google Sheets. Into our Google Sheets and the event. So we can. I don't know, create a multiple spreadsheet, browse, copy worksheet. There are different uh, options that you have by now. So by now, because I have created a new document, I'm going to find a worksheet 
I'm going to continue. I'm going to link to my Google Chat. So this is the same process as I did in Notion. So by now I'm not going to show you that. And this is the action. So choose the value. This is going to be into my Google Draw Drive sorry, <laughs> and the spreadsheet. Let me see if it recognizes. Yes, it is a new document. So here in title, the value of the worksheet title to match exactly. So this is, let me see. I'm going to select this title, Seba's birthday. And should this step be considered as a sex with no thing is found? No. So I'm going to, oh no, no, I'm not going to, <laughs> to create a Google chat because I have it right now. I'm going to continue and to test this action. Okay, failed to find a worksheet in Google Sheets. I don't know why happened that. So by now I'm to create a Google Sheets, why not? This is gonna be the header. Title. And I'm going to insert the name. I'm gonna insert the URL. I'm gonna insert the, let me see the status. I want to insert the, the email and what else? I had a phone there, the phone. I'm gonna insert those. You can select what you need. And obviously this is gonna create a Google Sheets. I don't know what that happened. And to continue, let me, oh no, no, no. Let me test the action again. And the box must be on green. Now, this has been successful. I'm gonna publish this. So, so this is gonna create a new spreadsheet into my Google Sheets. So I'm going there. A new document, I guess. Let me load again. Oh yeah, it has a new shed. Seba's birthday, yeah. So as you can see, I have all the info there. So if you have a lot of events into your calendar, you are gonna be able to transfer all the data from your Notion to your Google Sheets. There's your email and so on. Obviously, I really, this is my advice to create the name of the column so you have these in a better way, okay? But you can transfer all that data. And that's it. That's how you can transfer the data from Notion to your Google Sheets with Zapier. Thanks for watching.